It is so hard to do business in most parts of Africa. And then you wonder why we're poor. Do you know that right now I'm trying to get some ingredients coming from France for my products and most European companies won't sell to me? Not because they are racist or anything. Why? Because our laws are so screwed up at the import-export level that their product is going to be stuck at port. I'm not getting my product, so I'm not paying him, but he already shipped and the product is stuck there and we're all waiting there as stupid people. So now they're saying, you know what, I'm not selling it to you, and if you want me to sell to you, it's going to cost you at least five times more than it would cost to an American buying from me. You go to the Congo, 18 pieces of document required to import or export anything in that country. And by the way, each one of those documents a signature needs uh, is from a notary, requires a few hundred dollars. And of course, you have to pay bribes to make it, because otherwise it doesn't happen. And we can go on and on and on and on. Time to register a business? almost a year, costing you only God knows how many thousands of dollars. In the United States, you're at your computer, you start an LLC, within 15 minutes your LLC is done, almost costs you nothing, you're good to go. Compare that with two years of going through stuff trying to set up your, your company in most of these places. So the Doing Business Index ranking is telling us that basically Africa is massively, most of Africa is massively overregulated. We are choking. You know, um, I've tried to say what she's saying in so many ways and jokes as possible. And sometimes I feel like maybe the delivery is not even, But ultimately, I also feel um, sort of uh, a sense of apathy when it comes to these kind of issues. Because at the base of it all, it really is some people who are being enabled by a dysfunctional system. And they know the system is dysfunctional and they'll look you in the eye and they'll tell you, what do you want me to do? This is the way it works. This is the way it's always working. This is what feeds me and my family. And it'll continue for generations. And sometimes, you know, the necessary thing is always, it's not the best. It's not the most pure. It's not the most, it's not the most righteous sentiment. But uh, the snake's head is going to have to be cut off Um and these these type of you know these type of people it's, it's it's a system it's a system everywhere it's a system um and it's unfortunate it's really unfortunate you guys leave in the comments below what you think should be a seems like a reasonable solution cuz i've thought i just don't think i can think far enough but you guys tell me what do you think would be a reasonable solution for africa what do you, how do you think we can rectify this problem um of lobbying and seemingly uh, uh, seething corruption in those hallways, you know?